All right. So, you know, I know you've created a lot of success at a young age, but if you could, right, if you could go back to, let's say, you, you know, before you went to college, right? Um, Cause I know you had a different vision at that time, but if you could go back knowing everything, you know, now, like the, the Jordan today could go back to Jordan at 18 years old and have a conversation with yourself and give yourself two pieces of advice that you feel would have just, you know, fast forward the trajectory to your success. What would those two pieces of advice be? Yeah. So you know, if I can go back that far, the, for my first advice I could tell my younger self would be like, literally, if you want to do something, you work hard enough, anything in this whole world is, is within reach. I would tell, I would just make sure I know that at 18, that no matter what, no matter if I want to go to Harvard, I can get into Harvard. I want to I get it. I can do anything that I want. If I, if I just put the effort in. Um, and the sec, the second advice, you know, I would give myself advice that, you know, that, Sometimes when you, I would tell myself that you can't have a vision of like what, what's supposed to happen or what you want, you know, your vision of what you think should happen. That vision is not really, you know, what, what you think is supposed to go as planned is not really ever going to go as planned. So I'll let myself know it's okay to kind of not go as planned, but still work really, really hard. But it's okay not to go on the complete plan that you think you're supposed to go on. So those are two things I would tell myself at 18 to make sure that, you know, uh, I'd be, I feel a lot better going into the into that into eight year 19 at that point yeah love it man powerful stuff did you do you um have any regrets like if you could do it over again would you have of even went to college or messed with college um well the thing is it's it's a whole backstory but if i didn't go where i went yeah i would not be here today so i almost didn't you know i got it to make a long story short i didn't get it i got denied by 14 colleges and no school let me in. I remember I, I got I got this letter back and I, and, uh, and I opened it on my kitchen table and, and I was like, Dad, I, I don't think I got into this last school. I was banking on this last school because my dad went there and my uncle went there, my aunt went there. And I'm like, and I opened it up and it says, you're not, you're not getting in basically. And I said, are you kidding me? I said to my dad, I said, you know, Uncle Jim wrote a letter and he goes, Jordan, you wouldn't have got in with a letter from the President of the United States, <laughs> right? So... That's why I realized I was, in, I was in trouble. And then one school who um, gave me a chance, because I had a 1.7 GPA in high school, and they, um, uh, they gave me a chance. And they said, listen, he can come here, but by looking at what he's done, I mean, he looks like he can't do it. But we'll give him a chance, but he's got to go to summer school. He's got to prove himself. And if he doesn't make it through here, he can't come. And I remember when I got in there, I first, when I first found that out, I was like, I'm not going to summer school. I'm going to the beach. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a good life with my friends. You know, I'm not going to. And, and I wasn't going to go. And then, and then one day I said, you know what, I'm going to go. And then I just went. And by doing that, because it wasn't the school that, it's not school that kind of gets you ready for life. Like, it's not like learning how to write a paper or like, it's not, it's none of that. It's what, it's who you become when you go through school. Right. So like, it's who I became. So I never excelled in school. So I went to this program that this school offered it helped me find out, it helped me figure out how I would kind of learn. And it brought out like this success I've never had before within myself. And it just kind of created this confidence I've never had. And then I took that and I got through school and that's what helped me get through to get to this point. So that was like the foundation of my confidence. So if I didn't do that, I, 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 I wouldn't, I definitely would be, I, probably, I don't know what I would be doing, but, but, but that, that was like the snowball effect and that was like the foundation. So I don't regret going to school. And I really figure out a lot about myself going from school. So really just school in general is great. You know, you learn a little bit, right? But more you learn about who you are as a person. So that's why I wouldn't regret it. I really have no, the only regret I have is just not figuring this out sooner, you know, but who can, who can do, who can fix that, you know? Yep. Yep. Love it, dude. So, um, you know, those that are watching and listening to this podcast are here because, you know, they're, they're looking for that, the motivation, if you will, but also the tactical skill sets to go out there and create the life they know they want and deserve. With that being said, do you have any last words of inspiration or motivation that you'd like to leave them with so they can do exactly that? Yeah. So I would say anyone that's starting now, it's not any type of entrepreneur, any type of sales job. I think that the key is you have to look at, you know, you have to get in a certain mindset to be, you know, a consistent, consistent, consistent person. So you have to stay completely consistent and you got to look at your life and say, okay, everyone in my life, this, this is my friend. These are my buddies. This is what they do. And look at your whole surrounding and kind of see what you're surrounded by. And sometimes you have to be alone. Maybe all those things are bad. You have to, you have to kind of weed out what's kind of weighing you down. You have to figure out where you want to go. And then you have to sometimes say, okay, listen, like this, this, this is what I have to do. And, you know, I have to cut this off. I have to stop doing this. You know, I look at my situation, look, look at their life and like, okay, listen, is there anything 
good out of this. Like, yes, it's good. Is it, it, like, okay, me, like, on a Friday night, is it okay to go out and drink and have fun with your friends? Yeah, that's fine. Anyone can do it, right? But is it going to help me make calls at 9 o'clock in the morning on Saturday morning? No, because I want to be fresh on Saturday morning. So you got to look at the little things like that because all those little things, every Friday you take, you choose to sleep, go to sleep early, wake up, uh, wake up really early, and you pound the phone. Those little decisions will add up to big decisions and then big, big, big moves. And then when you get, you know, four years in, you know, you create a business. So I think it's the little sacrifices and, and the little changes in your life. You make those changes and you stay consistent to what your vision is and you're, you're unstoppable. Whatever you're doing, you just have to do that.